Well, hi again. Welcome to my latest video. Well, in this one, I'm going to do another product review, but it's a type of product I haven't reviewed in a while. I used to do a lot of them, but I haven't done one lately. A video capture card. Now, this particular one is from a company called Digit Now. I reviewed their video capture cards in the past. You know, some were really good, some were okay. This one, though, is a full 4K video capture device. 4K input and output which means that you can put up to 4K 60 FPS into it. You can also get 4K 30 output for purposes of going live streaming uh, at a very high resolution, unlike many others that you see out there today. But in addition to that, it's got an HDMI pass-through. So you can actually connect what it sees and what it's recording out to a monitor or another computer of some sort, whichever way you want to hook it up. There are many different ways that you can set up a streaming computer when you're doing gaming, which is really what this is focused on, 4K gaming. According to the specs that I've read on it, the HDMI pass-through basically has zero latency, but I will test that. I will use my standard latency test and check not only what that pass-through is doing, but exactly what the latency is from what it's capturing to what it's recording or the output. Because remember, what's coming out of it is just a USB 3.0. This is 3.0, which is why it's able to get the high resolution that it has. In addition to that, you can also connect up a microphone or a headset to it. That allows you to hear what it hears and also to describe what, <laughs> what's being recorded. Let's say you're in the middle of a game and you want to give some commentary to it you'll be able to do that with this. Now, in order to test this, I'm going to use the recently reviewed Lenovo Micro PC that I got. Should work fine. It has currently a display port output, but I have the adapter to convert it to HDMI, so we'll see if that works. And I'll also connect up one of my cameras to it and try that as well. One of my DSLR cameras. You know, maybe my Sony ZV E10. We'll see. Then I'll go through and compare them and we can see what they look like. Anyway, this should be quick, so stay tuned for the end when you see the final test results. Okay, I took everything out of the box and uh, here's the unit here. Nice shiny metallic red case to it. Oh, it looks like it has a tear here. Let me pull that tear off. Oh, that was not bad at all. Okay. It does come with a power cable looks like it's about three feet long, a USB power cable, because this is powered by a USB connector over here. So that goes in over here. They don't give you, though, the adapter for the wall. So either you connect it, you have to connect it up to your computer, or you need one of these things, right? You have to supply for, by yourself. So it's got that. It also comes with what looks like about a three foot long USB 3.0 cable and about a four foot long HDMI cable. Didn't check the specs on it, but I assume it's uh, the latest that there are. Okay, so that's what comes in the box. I just wanted to show that. Okay, here's an example of my DSLR camera looking through and being changed over to USB 3.0 by the Digit Now capture card. And as you can see, it is quite clear. Here's a registration picture, and you can see the difference here when I focus it. Definitely 4K. So that's great. Let me try a PC now. Okay, here's uh, what it looks like when I connect up my recently reviewed Lenovo Micro PC. It's running in 4K mode, and as you can see, it's very clear and, uh, and succinct. So this works fine. Nice, decent picture to it. Let me now go on and check to see the propagation delay that occurs, uh, first for the pass-through, and then the device itself. I'll be using the Elgato uh, 4K60 that I have in this PC to test it out. Okay, here's a propagation delay test of the pass-through, the HDMI pass-through of this digit now capture card. The bottom one is the input to it, and the top one is the output from the pass-through. Let's do this test and see where it winds up. 
That's about 63, 64 milliseconds, which is not bad considering there's an automatic delay that'll be built into the operating system and the applications involved here. So that looks pretty good based upon similar devices that I measured in the past. Now here I'll be testing what the delay is between the input HDMI, as captured in the lower image, to what comes out of the USB 3.0 conversion that this capture card is doing. So let's see how it does. Well, that time it got a noticeable propagation delay, uh, 192 milliseconds, which is almost two tenths of a second. Well, I think this thing did pretty good, this Digit Now Capture device. The 4K capability was really nice. It did extremely high resolution, 4K for sure. I haven't seen many of those that could do it at that level, to be quite honest with you, to a 3.0 USB. Now, in terms of the propagation delay testing, well, just keep in mind that we had a fixed 63 milliseconds that didn't matter whether or not it was through the device or not. It's a delay that you have to live with because I believe most of it is the operating system and the software that you're running on your PC. So you really need to subtract that from 192, which would be what, about 129 millisecond actual propagation delay? So I think that that is actually the, the real propagation delay that converts over to USB 3.0. Shouldn't be a problem because it seemed to be synced up fairly well when I tested it. Anyway, I do want to say that the uh, HDMI cable that came with it did not work for me. I had to use one of my more higher quality 4K HDMI cables to get this thing to work. It may have been a fluke, it may have just been my test sample, but you never know. Also, I found out that you didn't need to actually connect a separate power supply to this thing. It actually could draw enough power through the USB 3.0 to drive the power needed by this device. So just keep that in mind if you decide to get it. Okay, thanks for now.